Hey my makers, it's Lila with LB Novelties and today I'm going to be making a casual video for you, keeping it simple, but sharing with you my storage tip solutions and how I keep my workspace organized. I've been sharing these tips on my stories and Instagram and a lot of you guys keep asking me questions about it so I figure why don't I make just one simple video and that way you guys can go through what I do to keep my space organized. And this is constantly changing, don't think it just stays one way. If I find another solution to change it out, I like to always share it with you guys, but I figure I'll show you the current situation going on in my workspace and how I'm keeping all my planning items and art markers, everything I need in regards to producing my content here at LB Novelties organized. So keep watching the video and don't forget to hit that like button. All right guys, so I figure I'll show you quickly what I have set up in regards to like my desk. I've had, I have a video of this on YouTube, but I figure let's just go through it real quick, show you what I have, and that way you don't have to go watch that video if you don't have time to. So this bookcase I purchased at Ikea, it's called the Branham's, it's B-R-I-M-N-E-S, yeah. So it's from Ikea and I purchased it for $125. The reason I purchased it, I like having a bookshelf to be able to display, you know, items. It just looks really pretty, creates height in your um, room. If you feel like your room's feeling a little small, it's really great to purchase items that are tall because it brings your eye up to the ceiling and it really makes your room look taller and the height just elevates. So that's a great tip. If you want to create a little bit of more elevation in your space, purchase something a little bit taller. What I also love about this is the drawers in here. They're so deep and perfect. And I actually organized mine really well. I'll add a clip in it in here a little bit just showing you how it looks like. But I love the drawers in here. The bottom one is my travel drawer because I love to travel and it has everything I need in regards to traveling. My toiletries bag, anything you, you might need for traveling is in that drawer. And the, the top one is all my planning items. And then the desk I also purchased from Ikea. This one's called the Mickey desk. I got it for $49. And then I just put um, an acrylic uh, glass top on top. They um, they cut it at Lowe's for us, so that's um, something that I love because it doesn't scuff my desk. My desk is still in good condition. Chair also is from Ikea. And then this corner um, bookshelf, I purchased at Target. They have it currently at Target for about $28. Last year I bought it for $24. But it's really great. It holds, you know, items well. And it's I love that it all is white and allows the planning items and everything I have on display that's colored to pop. That's my favorite, is to have like a white backdrop and then just have the colors popping. So that's my own personal, you know, look that I like. But they do have these and other color options if you want to switch out your colors. Um, maybe you want to keep it more masculine looking or neutral, whatever it is. They do have options for colors. So I definitely recommend working with the space that you have. This wall portion right here is not that long where I have it. So I knew I needed to get smaller pieces but that still you know i would be able to per, you know put stuff on it so that's why i love um the layout that i have currently and i also love that these are not so deep so it doesn't feel so um, bulky in here they're very you know they're pretty not you know deep i know what i mean guys <laughs> anyway so um i also have some artwork displayed here that i purchased at hobby lobby but like i mentioned i have that video on my youtube channel go check it out i go into more detail of everything but i just want to kind of show you the actual layout and how I have it systematically laid out. So I have art markers here and then I have planning stuff here and then my desk with all my fun stuff. So now I'm gonna show you some other um, items that I have for storage solutions. Okay. So I'm gonna show you another tip that I have and this is something I have on my YouTube channel. It's just how I store my journaling stickers but I really love these sticker organizers that were just released from the Happy Planner. Um, this is a refresh style. It's at Michael's and in the Happy Planner website. I was given one, um, being on Happy Planner Squad, you get you know certain products, so I was given one. But I loved it so much that I bought another one. And it's really something that I'm enjoying using. Um, so find something that makes it easy for you to reach for it and use it. So that's why I love these sticker organizers, but I'm actually using them for my journaling stickers. As you can see, I'm already putting them to use. There's some blank spots. But I just love having them you know accessible to me so I can use them and I'm using them a lot in my squad journal it's a really great way to memory keep if you don't want to do a memory keeper with pictures I would say maybe just do one with journaling stickers and write down special moments that happen I use colorful boxes and I'll write down what happened that day and then if I want to write a little bit more into detail of what occurred that day then I put one of these down and I could just journal on it so I really do love having this accessible to me and I needed to get two because I was running out of space on that one and these are really great also to be storing your dashboard 
stickers. I have, you know, these three right here. Um, this one was given to me, but then I purchased the animal one and the stick figure girls, which I love. They're so awesome. But um, this is how I store my journaling stickers and dashboard stickers. And then I just went ahead and switched out the disc to expander disc so I could fit as much as I could in these. Going into more detail in regards to the planning stuff. So come on guys, let's get into this side. All right, I want to try my best to kind of show you this while having this cart here, but basically what I have here are some bookends that I purchased at Home Goods, and I just love them. Aren't they so cute? I love it. It's so Zen mode, and the colors are exactly the colors I love, like white with this really, you know, t pretty teal color. It's almost like a robin egg blue, but I love it. So I have that holding here. Um, some planners I have on display, and again, I don't display everything because then I feel a little. Like I just can't handle too much color. So I like things to be organized and clean. And I still have a lot of planners, but I'll show you how I store them. But right here I have my big key, uh, school keeper that I'm using to uh, memory keep all of um, Chance's first year at school. And then I also have two happy notes here and the book of art of calligraphy. And then this cute little half sheet note that says I'm a happy planner. This is where I keep track of my boss babes of the traveling planner. So here's a list. That's how I keep track of them. And I have this really cute glass um, container that holds all my little discs that I like to display. And then I have um, the desk calendar from Amy Tangerine's Be Happy box. Um, really love that. I'm so happy that the Happy Planner sent that to me. Um, and then I also like have these photo boxes and they still have these available at Michael's. I purchased these because again, it goes with my color scheme and I do want to travel to Europe one day and I just love the little travel thing to it. And I also have this really cute um, camera, um, like ceramic art piece that I just purchased years ago. I have this little saying that says boss babe, super cute. And then how I keep my um, planners organized and everybody knows this by now, hopefully. I love these Target containers. This is the one in teal. And then I have clear ones here for my stickers and I'll show you those in a bit. But the great thing about these is they hold planners really well. This is a classic size planner and I have four big planners because these are my Franken planning planners um, and they're an expander disc and then these are like two regular classic size planners. But I love the color. It really goes well with the color scheme that I have. And I have these out because these are the ones that I use the most and I just keep it right here in the corner of my little bookcase. And then I have that other washi tape um, organizer that I showed you and then just some other little knickknacks that I use for taking photos. But I wanna show you my awesome, you know, cart that I love absolutely so much and come on a little bit closer, just a little bit more. Okay, so now we're really close guys. This is my beautiful planner cart. I absolutely love it. This goes with my color scheme. I just love this beautiful like teal color. And I actually had purchased this last year and I was using it just for my like, crafts and stuff. I had it outside in my um, dining area. But I decided to bring it inside because stickers were taking over the workspace a little too much. So I found these really awesome containers and I have one right here so you can see what it looks like. These ones are available at Target and they're still available right now because it's all about back to school at Spots back, uh, what is it called, playground? <laughs> it's basically that do dollar section right in the front of Target. And I first purchased one, just trying to see if I could fit you know, my stickers in it. And when I saw that I could, I got a little carried away and bought more. These are just extras because you know that the Happy Planner keeps releasing sticker books and I don't wanna run out of the same look that I wanna carry throughout. So I purchased, I have four extras of these right now. I have one teal and three clears extras just in case. Um, but it displays all my sticker books and these hold 26 of these sticker books inside really well. And what I love about it is it fits perfectly um, well inside the planner cart. And that's what I love. Um, this bottom section right here, I don't have sticker books just yet. Eventually, once my collection gets bigger, I'll probably, you know, switch these into here. But let me go in a little bit more detail of what I have in this beauty displayed right here. So what I have in the top, of course, are sticker books. Um, they range from seasonal, wrong, wrong. I have, I don't want to admit this, but I have 14 journaling sticker books. Um, I really do use those every single spread that I do. Pretty much I use those a lot and I just love them so much. They are my heart and it is what it is. But yeah, I have a lot of those. I have a couple of copies of colorful boxes um, and then the other options for colorful boxes. And then once you get to the second level, I have 
the student section right here in the, in the front because with all the prep of back to school for chance i've been using these a lot um, i have the new release items right here womankind radiate positivity color story um, the accessory packs are all over here and i still have space available for any extras and then right here in the bottom i have all my little tiny sticker pads and i love my wrong wrongs i know these sold out so fast so i'm scared to use these because i only have this one copy but i love them so much um, and then i just have some other options right here i have lovely pastels and squad goals um, and then i also have in this little micro notes i have additional sticker pads in here but they're just hole punch into it so it's easy for me to take this on the go i like to have a little travel um, option and then i have some additional stickers in here as well these are from accessory packs so that's a great way to store them as well and then i just have a happy notes back here and some micro notes as well and it just looks really pretty here displayed and then the bottom section of course i have my student pouch that was recent release from the back to school theme and this one it says whatever and it's super cute and i have all my croyola super tips in here bottom section guys i love this so much i have to show you this so this is from Joann's. You've probably seen it in stories if you follow me, but those of you that ha haven't seen this, you can find this at Joann's and it is from the Iris brand and it is intended to store photos five by seven. But I decided to make it for my mini paper, my mini happy paper. And all these little cute vinyls, um, the one that says Vibe Maker Tribe, which I love so much. It's so beautiful. It just really makes my cart personal, are from Jenna and her... Um, Instagram handle is at lovely plants. I'll make sure to put it in the description box if you want to order anything from her, but I ordered these planner discs and she actually made this for me um, for my birthday. So I really love that. So uh, they're really easy to put on any kind of acrylic or plastic. And what I love about this container is it has these six slots, slot containers. So each container I have labeled with my Dymo um, label maker. I just purchased that at Target. Each one is separated by um you know category so this one is mini color mini lined i have um something that's really even awesome micro notes because you know those papers are really tiny really great way to store them and i have half sheets of the mini so um really great way look how many i have stored in here and what i love about them is like you could pull it out and say like oh i want to use this today it just snaps open you can pull out your sheets use whatever you need and then put it back in here and your papers do not get folded or like you know like how your corners kind of get like folded in the on the ends i just don't like my paper getting all messed up and i was feeling they were getting messed up because i was storing them in those photo boxes prior to that but now i have it organized and it's easy for me to see what i have inside and i'm actually using these now so that's what i was saying sometimes you need to change out your storage solutions to actually put to use what you've purchased because these just sat in that photo box for months and i never used them now that i have them here i see myself reaching for them and trying to use them more often and i just love having them on display it's super cute and then i also have down here when i first started you know happy planning i started doing the sticker organizer books so these are just um covers that i cut out and uh, make, made them round i'm happy now they have the sticker organizers that are already like pretty with dividers and stuff but this is a diy one and i just use cardstock to be my divider but i do love now that they have options and i just put some tabs on it so i have it separated by florals fun times quotes symbols and that's how i was doing it prior to just keeping them in the book i feel like it's easier to go to the books um, now that i've been planning for almost close to a year um, I really do love having them like this and they just look pretty displayed and I could be like, oh, I know I, it's in this sticker book and I just pull out the sticker book. Um, but I also do love having it like this as well as an option. So these are all sticker books that I DIY'd when I first started planning. But this is my beautiful Vibe Maker tribe cart. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention. It's like these really cute jars I found at Target. This has all my erasers in it. And then I also have my Amy Tangerine watercolor set in here. I loved using this and I like having it accessible so I can um, actually put it to use. So that's just how I have my Vibe Maker cart organized and accessible for me to keep planning. Because sometimes I like sit on the floor and just have this, you know, on hand and I can reach 
do something real quick or I just plan on my desk. It's just depending on the mood I'm in. But this is my fun corner and I absolutely love it. And now I'm going to show you inside my drawers and how I organize those as well. Okay guys, you get a little sneak peek inside the drawer. So this first drawer is all planner products. Look how beautiful it is. I absolutely love it so much. So on this side, I have all my planners and happy notes that I currently use. And then I have my hole puncher and I'll show you quickly what I have in here. So let's start pulling this stuff out so you can see. I really recommend anyone that is a happy planner purchasing a hole puncher, guys. This is a classic size. You can hole punch anything into your happy planner. It doesn't have to be just products that you purchase from the happy planner. It could be photos, magazine cutouts, whatever it is, invitations, use your hole puncher. So I love having that accessible. And then I have these little containers I bought at Michael's. They were just in that front section by the register. This was 99 cents. And I just put um, tape refills in here for my tape runner. Um, and then this is uh, a Crayola box container. Well, it's not Crayola, but it's intended to hold crayons, but I'm using it to organize my space. And again, I labeled it. And then I have a second one in here. And this one just has my um, slot from the slot um, adhesive tabs from the Happy Planner. I haven't labeled it yet because I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave this in here. So this is something I'm still playing with. So, you know, just play around with what you have and then if you for sure wanna keep it like that, then you label it. And then I have um, my dashboard Happy Planner. I love this one, it's so beautiful. And like the neutrals and see I have what I planned recently, but let me just show you like how it looks like blank. Because of course I have to show you some of the products. So this is what it looks like blank and then I can just go ahead and do my designs. So I have, this is like for the year and I just pull out the month that I'm working on and put it in my other happy planner mini that is like my Franken planning style. And then I have the photo box punch cutter and this is from the happy planner as well so if you print out photos you could just slide your photo in here and then punch punch it out to fit inside the vertical box layout i have a ruler and then i'm going to pull this guy out so this is just like the mini paper holder and let me pull this out here so you can actually see what this looks like so guys, this, I still need to put a planner disc because I just realized I haven't put one on this one. But again, this is where all my backup markers are stored and I have them um, by tones. So I have blue tones, skin tones, yellow and green tones, purple and brown tones, pink and red tones, black and gray tones. And these, I just put them together because I was able to fit um, two, two options in them because like, look how many markers you can fit and I still have space for more, but I really love having it like this. I feel like it um, helps me see what markers I have because I use art markers a lot. So I need to have backups when they dry out or I run out, especially like if I'm in the middle of a spread and it happens to run out. So I went ahead and switched out my art markers um, just recently to, to the ones that needed new ones. And then these are all my backups. So I really love this. This is really great for anybody that is in art school. A great way to organize your markers, guys. So. I'm obsessed with that, of course. And then in here, I wanted to take that out so you can see. These are the containers from Target that I just showed you. And look how many planners I could fit in here. And it keeps it super organized. And I put the ones that I use the most towards the front. And then these are just extra happy notes. And then these planners right here are the ones that start in 2020. So that's why they're in the back. And it's just a great way to display it. I could just pull out the door, get what I need, and then shut it and everything's organized and it doesn't look so cluttered and I just keep you know what I want on display here and here but then this keeps it super organized so this drawer from Ikea this bookshelf um, has really deep drawers and look at I can fit two of these containers plus my marker backup and my hole puncher and everything else I have in it and it just slides and it's nice and neat are you guys still with me? Hopefully you made it all the way to the end of this video and enjoyed everything I shared with you guys in regards to storage tips, organizing, and just kind of a tour of my workspace here at LB Novelties. I really absolutely love my space. Um, it's something that I worked on to make it personal to me and you know, be comfortable enough to plan. But sometimes, you know, I might be planning on the floor, throw some like sticker books on the floor, put on my jams and I'm just, you know, having fun. But at the end of the day, I enjoy seeing this and coming to it every day to be creative. Make your space fun to plan with. Make your space somewhere where you just feel you, the most that you know you are. 
and creative and excited, whatever it may be, do it your way. Um, hopefully you guys got some fun tips out of it and I'm always sharing on Instagram, Instagram stories, you know, like tips in regards to storage, positive vibes, beauty, fashion, you name it. I like to share whatever it is that pops into my head that day. So make sure to follow me on my Instagram handle at LB Novelties. And if you guys have any fun planner solutions in regards to storage or organizing, make sure to leave in the comment section below. I love to hear your guys' you know, tips and what you guys do to keep your space working for you. And as always guys,